one of the stats maybe a uh, like of shikhar dhawan shubman gill will have been reminded of we've talked about it in the first two games gentlemen and that is about the two wickets no not just the two wickets that you take with the ball it's the two wickets that you don't lose when you're batting first and we've talked about india and odis this year have a look at the two highlighted in blue that's the two games india won how many wickets did they lose in the first 10 overs when they were batting none so it's it's not a coincidence that they actually did that something they didn't quite do in the first couple of games here as well but zahir another aspect we decided to go in depth into it and something we discovered was that 9th and 10th over mark close to that is when they were losing that second wicket so i know it's it's sort of trying to be very picky but you need to be when you want to iron out such things well absolutely you you look at the modern day cricket and uh, and every team approaches it in in in, in the same fashion pretty much you know so so you 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 divide the game into uh, say three or four blocks if you like and that first block is 10 overs you have 20 overs after that which which takes you to uh, to 30 overs and then uh, then there is that important phase where uh, where the second power play is about to finish you know where if you have wickets in hand you can really put uh, bowlers under pressure and and the moment you uh, you lose that that one uh, one block you're behind the game so that means that that much extra work for uh, for, for the new batter to come in if you are uh, batting or uh, uh, bowlers are uh, coming under pressure if you've not taken wickets in that first uh, first phase of the game and uh, it's it's the, the it's it's an open secret i feel like you know uh, every team approaches the game in that fashion they want to be say somewhere around 150 if you have to score uh, 300 plus runs uh, and have wickets in hand so that you know they can approach that last 20 overs in a in a, in a t20 format and for that you need uh, enough wickets in hand and and that is something which every team has been trying not every day you go out there and and uh, tick those boxes and and that's what as a as as a team you strive for and for for indian team i think you know this year has uh, has been a disappointing year with that regard you know beat uh, beat bowling or batting uh, you know they've uh, they've been uh, not able to tick that box that first box uh, consistently and as a result uh, finding themselves under uh, under pressure going forward in the game and uh, and i'm sure you know enough talks must have been uh, done around that uh but you know they they want to finish uh, this year now as quickly as possible and say that okay in 2021 maybe we'll not have uh, these kind of uh, issues or headaches yeah you wouldn't really want to put everything down michael to 2020 i mean the batsman can't turn around and say yeah we fail it's 2020 everything goes wrong so it's december there's another 31 days to go oh less than that and i think they just want to tell themselves let's tick those simple boxes and today would be a great day to start fixing it yeah i mean there's uh there's blueprints to to being successful in in, in any cricket but particularly this year of wide ball cricket and that is one of the top 3 has to get 100 you know that's uh, what's not been happening uh, from an an indian perspective um uh, this year that they've just got to get one of those top 3 through the first 10 and then whoever gets through that first 10 they've got to you know give themselves the chance to bat through right through to the 40th over and then in the last 10 over as well you know then you have a bit of fun and and anyone can get out but your job in that top 3 really is to see off the new ball try and strike and be positive that's the era that we're playing in uh, you can't just uh, you know pat balls back and and, and play out dot balls uh, you've still got to be aggressive and positive but you know the best players in this era can be aggressive and still look like the playing in a conventional fashion that's just the the era that white ball game is at um so Yeah, that top three really one of them if not two has got to stick the hand up and say if we get through the 10th get to the 20th then get to the 30th get through to the 40th which is pretty much the best time to bat because of the fielding restrictions um you really have to take it on yourself to get a big individual score to help the team yeah you certainly do but uh, you know just just looking at it from a point of view of all of your participation given what's happened to india in the first couple of games we still keep our hopes up and we have lots and lots of questions coming in on hashtag #askcricketbuzzlive we've got another one what we're going to do is we're going to pop in the question right now and this is from sudesh singh and he says our indian pacers in particular struggling struggling to adjust from t20 cricket to the odi format in australia now i think a good time to talk about this would be when they're actually going to come into action in the middle of this particular game so sudesh you and everybody else who might have similar questions you need to listen to our discussion when the indian bowlers are going to be in action